Hi all, welcome to Anjan JCB Data Engineering. So in this video, we are going to see how we can use Gemini Assistant to generate BigQuery SQLs. Okay, by passing user inputs using natural language processing. Okay, so Gemini is a AI-powered tool. As a user, you can prompt your requirement. That means you can pass your user requirement by using natural language in our case we will use english okay gemini will pass that input and it will generate the sql based on the user inputs okay so as a user you can use the same query and also you can enhance the query based on your requirement and you can exclude that query on bigquery editor okay so this is a simple process and uh, right now gemini assistance is made available for the bigquery users okay so i i think in real time scenario it might be disabled if you have to use this feature you will have to enable this gemini assistance in the bigquery studio okay so before we get into the demo so to use gemini assistance as a user we need to have few basic things in place the first thing is you have to enable the bigquery gemini features as i said in a real time scenario it might be disabled in your project if you have to make use of this feature you will have to go to the bigquery editor and uh, you will have to enable all this feature this can be done by admins actually so this is the first thing we have to do and the second thing so what are the basic permissions we need to use this gemini assistant to write sequels Okay, the basic role to be granted to the user is Cloud AI Companion user. Okay, this role has to be granted to a particular user to make use of this Gemini assistance to write SQL. Okay, and this is one simple example. So, how user prompt would look like? So, this is a simple example using this particular table. It's a public data set table. Show, show me the Ten longest trips length by subscriber type. So based on this input, so Gemini will parse this input and it will generate a SQL for user to execute it on the BigQuery editor. Okay, and right now this feature is recommended for data analysts, data scientists, and also data developers who work with SQL queries and also Colab Enterprise notebooks in BigQuery. This is one more feature. We are going to discuss this feature in next video. Okay, so right now this feature is not recommended for business users. Okay, so now let's get into the demo. So this is a BigQuery Studio or BigQuery Editor. So right now this feature is enabled for me. If this feature is disabled for you, you will have to come over here. Here you can see Gemini. So click on this and this drop down you can see. So you will have to enable all these features. In my case, this is already enabled. You will have to enable auto generation, SQL generation tool and explanation so that this Gemini feature will be available for you to generate SQL queries. Okay. And this section is for Python notebook. So we will discuss this feature in the next video. Okay. So I'll take the simple example. This is the same prompt I'll take and I'll try to generate SQL using this prompt. Okay. So here the same symbol whatever you see over here you can see over here so start writing sql or generate sql with gemini if you want to write your own sql you don't have to use this feature if you have to generate sql based on user inputs okay by using your natural language so in our case we are using english so right now it is supporting english i guess maybe they'll extend this feature for other languages also click on this hyperlink you can see that window where you can input your uh, requirement okay just i'm copy pasting my requirement table show me the 10 longest trips based on length and also filter that result based on the subscriber type this is my requirement now when you click on generate button so it will take some time to generate your sql okay so now you can see the sql is coming up over here in the result box okay sql if you want to enhance the sql you can still go and edit this SQL directly or else if you can even modify your prompt for that you can click on edit and if you, once you give something like user input then this update button will be enabled 
you can just click on generate SQL so that with the modified inputs it will regenerate that SQL again okay so if you want to make use of this SQL so just click on insert so that it will be copy pasted to your BigQuery data okay so click on run now you can see your output desired output over here see I have created one demo data set over here you can see so there are few tables already available so I I would like to write some query right based on this table to see some aggregated output okay this table has these columns like year and and there are other columns and some description and also category uh, and also some metric available so data value okay so I would like to write a query based on using this prompt this is a simple output I would like to see that is show me the sum of data value by year from the greenhouse table click on generate SQL with Gemini so using this table I wanted to see the sum of the data value group by year okay just generate the SQL okay now you can see the SQL so if you want you can modify this SQL if you want to add one more column over here in the select class you can do that and also you can change the group by accordingly okay insert this so now you can run this query okay let's enhance this requirement like to get the minimum and maximum and average value of the data value group by year and also there are other columns so I would like to pass this as a user input okay so let me take that and again make use of this feature let's see if it is going to generate the SQL or not oh, if your input is a bit complex and if we if it the Gemini has to pass some lengthy uh, user input then it will take some more time actually see it has generated the SQL with event formatting properly so now we are trying to get the min max and also average of data value from this table uh, we are doing group by year source and variable okay so insert this and run this query you can see the output now so so far We are trying to generate SQLs using single table. For example, let's say if you have to generate SQL by joining two tables, will it support? Yeah, it will support. Right now, it is supporting joining two tables. Maybe we'll have to see if it supports joining multiple tables to generate output. So in this example, we are going to see we are going to join two tables to generate SQL using Gemini assistance. Okay for that we'll have to examine the tables first then we will use Gemini assistance to generate that SQL so there are two tables so you can see this is one table so just preview the data so it has a symbol and the on the security name and the status and also there are other columns available and you can see the sector name and industry name and all those are available okay and we do have other table so if you preview the data even this table has symbol series and even it has some transaction data so basically uh, it's a stock related data so one one table has the symbol that is uh, the stock name and also the stock sector uh, name and all those details and one table has the the traded details okay on a particular day so if you see it's the symbol and uh, the date trade date and also the price close price and the traded quantity and delivered quantity and all those okay now we are going to join these two tables based on the symbol because symbol is the common column between these two tables by using symbol we are going to generate some output okay let's check our user prompt so here actually what I'm trying to do so we want these two tables to be joined and I want symbol name sector name so sector name is coming from one table and the other details like close price traded quantity delivery quantities coming from some other table now so Gemini 
will join these two tables and generate the sequels based on our user inputs okay so let me copy paste this prompt let's use this feature click on generate if you want to filter out the result set you can pass that user input accordingly right now i don't want to do that let's see if it is generating that sql now you can check the sql see how nicely it is generating the sql it is formatting the sql if you want to you can modify this sql so just you can see the inner join and also the criteria it's automatically identifying the common column right see symbol symbol okay so click insert now it's also whatever the user input or user prompt you have given to generate this sql you can see the same thing as part of comments okay so now you can generate the output you can see the output right so so this is how you can use gemini assistance to generate sequels definitely it will save a lot of time as a user as a developer as a data analyst as a data scientist okay so i hope it will help you we will meet in the next video thank you